Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we're gonna take care about the DC motor. Okay, it's in a little pack. This DC motor. Uh, you can open this pack. Direct current DC. Yeah. So operated with direct current. Gleichstrommotor, German. Yeah. The connections are already soldered. Yeah. This is very convenient. I can tell you the mechanical um, stability of those soldering points, it is not that high. So I strongly advise to use some sort of fix, cable fix, zip ties. Put them around the motor and zip the zip the cables in place. Uh, then at least some of the mechanical stress is held by the zip tie, of course not all of it. Uh, and the soldering points, they are protected. Uh, they will come off. They, they, they will come off, simply. Uh, there's no way around this. Cut the zip tie. Looks good. Huh? I really would advise to do that. To see if the shaft is turning and not only here, the thing you can place this little propeller, uh, this little fan on it. Yeah? Then you have a DC motor. Here are the connections. If you wish, you could also use a clamp. Yeah? Then you could clamp this DC motor and then you can even place it somewhere. Okay. Good! So now we have here the DC motor. The picture in the picture. What we need? We need power. DC motor is draining too much power for our, for our Arduino. So we are using our power supply. We are plug it in here, our power supply. I will jumper both sides to 5 volts, yeah, so that I don't have to care, plus and minus are correctly aligned. This is also good. Uh, why there is an option for 3.3 volts? Well, there are also 3.3 volt uh, logics. Yeah. 5 volt logic is our Arduino, but there are also 3.3 volt logics. They are more power saving simply. Yeah. This is why. The 3.3 volts are there. There are reasons for 3.3 volts and not 3.5 or 3.2 or, uh, or 3. Uh. Let's keep it simply that way. There is reason for it. Uh. So plug our power supply in. Aha, I have forgotten to turn it off last time. So we will now plug this to plus and this to minus. Turn it on, and it's turning. Good. The DC motor is working. We also said we could use a little transistor. I have this transistor, yeah, and I hope you remember what type of transistor we are using. So in the middle. There is the base connector. At one side there is the collector. At one side there is the emitter. We are going to connect the emitter to ground. Further. We are going to connect the emitter to the motor. Okay. And we are going to connect the collector to plus 5 volts. Alright. And then we do have our base. And the base we could try to switch. If I'm now turning on, nothing should happen. Right. If I'm now turning on the emitter, uh, the, 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 the uh, transistor, 
Now we can switch on and off, on and off the motor. Yeah? This was this electronic switch we had talked about, right? However, we also said between, between the, look at that, if we hear it, you hear how it sounds now, I'll put the cable a little bit in. If I now directly plug it to 5 volts, it's a little bit more power. If I put the cable in, you hear it's turning faster. Why is that? Because a DC motor is turning faster if it has available 5 volts. Okay, the more volts it has available, the faster it will turn. And with the transistor, we only have 4. around 4.4 volts available because we said we need a little power to switch the transistor, a little voltage. Huh? So we could not directly switch the motor. Huh? We could use our transistor to switch a relay. Here is the relay. Yeah. Let's see if this is working anyway. Because, you know, the, re the relay does not perfectly fit into our breadboard. This is always a little bit... Hmm. Uh, not that nice, I would say. Yeah. Let's see if we have at least connection. No, of course not. Because some... Get it. Try to plug it in by holding it in my hands. Maybe it's working a little bit better. You know what separates the engineer from the ordinary? There is always a solution, a technical solution. Look at that. I'm using it now that way and I can put this here in the middle contact. So it's working, I would say. Yeah? Because here we have the normally closed contact and here we have the normally open contact. I will contact the normally open contact. Okay. Then here we have the coil, should be here, I guess, here, ground, yeah. and if I'm now switching the coil with plus 5 volt, you hear the relay switching. And you can turn on the motor. And it is working now with 5 volts because it's a mechanical contact and does not need power. Alright? So I will contact this to here. Yeah. So now the transistor is switching the relay, the relay is switching the power to, to the motor. Let's see. Yeah. Good, good, good. Now we have a two-step approach. The only thing we would need here is something that switches between 5 volt and ground. We have something on our Arduino. And so we can use with a digital output, we can use to turn on and off this, this motor. All right? And this we are going to do in next video. Next video we are using the Arduino to turn the motor on and off again. Okay. Yeah, for this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.